Our third inductee is Fran Fiddler. Fran has spent 20 years as the administrative assistant for the athletic department, starting on the Greenspring campus. During that time, she has worked with and gotten to know hundreds of Mustang student athletes and worked with virtually every athletic staff member at Villa Julie and Stevenson. In the athletic department, the front porch is Fran. You know, anytime anyone had called the university or touched base, whether it was vendors, whether it was people that we worked with, it was other schools, whether it was recruits, whether it was a candidate for the position, Fran was the front door. And immediately, our success in recruiting talent and also retaining talent has been due to her warm, loving, and nurturing Stevenson University way about her. That um, it's hard to to look at the university's athletic department and not see the comfort and community and uh, love that she has for the institution. And it's not just, you know, recruits. You know, we've had, you know, 10,000 alumni in the athletic department over 22 years. Uh, venture to say that every one of our student athletes have benefited from Fran and all know Miss Fran. Uh, she is Stevenson University's athletics. If family and athletics are synonymous, then Miss Fran is the mother to our athletic department. She was the one that everyone went to. Good news, bad news, um, funny news, um, and if she was the person that we wanted to share our lives with. Of all the values of the Hall of Fame and the people inducted in the Hall of Fame, Ms. Fran embodies all of those values. She has been a cornerstone of our athletic department. She has been a foundation for me that I've been able to lean on both administratively and personally. Um, if the Hall of Fame means a, a great value and a great contribution to the institution, um, both past and present, um, Ms. Fran is a Hall of Fame superstar. It is my honor to welcome Fran Fiddler into the Dick Watts Athletic Hall of Fame. I am almost rendered speechless. Glad I wrote down a few words. Thank you all for this wonderful honor of being inducted into the Dick Watts Athletics Hall of Fame. When I started at then Villa Jolie College in the basement of Knott Hall, with a handful of sports and very few facilities, I had just left a, corp a large corporation and I was looking for something part-time and close to home. So it began, a 20-year fondness and love for what has now become my second family. And as I look out in the audience, I see my wonderful first family that I thank for their wonderful love and support. I have met and worked with many outstanding individuals, coaches, staff, esteemed colleagues, and mostly friends over the past 20 years. And the student athletes that I've met and keep in touch with are some of the finest young men and women who represent the best of Stevenson University. So many changes, so much more advanced. How many times did our meager athletics administrative staff, including Chris Raymer, Carol Zimmerman, MC McFadden, and I run concessions, set up for home games, create and print the game program, 
clean the bleachers after a home game, and travel great distances to our various off-site locations for those teams that did not have a home field. I'd like to thank Brett, who hired me when I didn't know the difference between a baseball and a lacrosse ball, <laughs> especially for his friendship and great work ethic, which has made the department a truly marvelous place to work. And throughout the years, thanks to those that have inspired me, made me laugh and cry, shared stories and confidences, some of those wonderful people being Dick Watts, Chris Raymer, MC, Paul Canabin, Gary Stewart, Graham Miller, Melissa Button, Jackie Boswell, Matt Grimm, Kathy Raley, and if I have forgotten anybody in the department, please forgive me, but you are all wonderful people to me. The growth of the department is indicative of the foresight of a forward-thinking group of individuals that have made Stevenson University a leader in college athletics and a reservoir of quality students. It is with humbled appreciation that I accept this most esteemed honor, and I thank you all very, very much.